everybody. How you doing? I'm doing really good. I feel like Peyton. <laughs> I have um, lots of colors I just can't make up my mind with <laughs> lately. So I'm just trying to be creative and do different colors and think what goes good with each other and yeah that's not always easy <laughs> uh for me anyway it's not i don't have that eye for colors you know but what i picked today was some greens and i don't really do that often um i can't remember the last time i did a green painting so really think this may be the first one <laughs> yeah so I'm just doing the basic three greens a bright yellow black and white okay I have a 11 by 14 here which requires a, uh, five ounces so I'll go about six play it safe for my edges just never never go under I always go over just a little bit um, and let's see what else I'm not using any silicone so I just pre mix these about 15 20 minutes ago and I don't have them too thin that's for sure because I do not like too thin lately I want it to be nice and coat my entire canvas real well you know especially the sides because when you know you can, when you when it's thin when you can see the sides all right anytime you're watching a video or something if you can see these white real bad then you'll know their paint was just too thin so we'll start with this one okay so what I did was I wanted an, a you know a different green so I mixed grass green okay with green teal oh, it's got paint all over it didn't want it too teal I wanted it greeny but not really teal so it wouldn't stand out and then I mixed it with the deep sea green. So that's sort of like a teal, but more on the blue, as you can see. So adding this green to it, and then just a few shots of this green brought it to this. Okay. Yeah, I mixed my colors. So that's a satin. And this one's a satin. And then I have dark yellow, which actually looks pretty bright, but it's dark yellow. Yeah, it's a dark yellow. And then bright mint. And bright palm so that's what I have and I'm going to go in this order white black I'm gonna go with the bright then the teal then the yellow then this green Or should I put the yellow by the black? Uh, you know, hmm. should have thought about that. Because I want whatever's coming out of my cup last, what goes in first is going to come out last. You know? So, 
I suppose I will put this yellow there. <laughs> put this green. There we go. There, there. Okay. That's how I'm going to do it. In that order. And here we go. Need five ounces. Two, four, six, six ounces right there. <coughs> it's also a big cup for that. Could just use a small cup. And what I do to know five ounces, so this is like a nine ounce cup. So what I'll do is I'll take water and I'll measure because this has measures right here. So there's two, four. Six. Okay. So I only need five, but like I said, I'm adding an ounce for my sides just in case. And then what I'll do is I'll dump it in my cup. So I know that's how much I need right there. Okay. That's how I do it. I mean, it looks silly, but you know what? I want to make sure I get it right. I can't eyeball things. And then I'll just even it up and mark my cup. So there we go. I've got a clean cup. With no water in it. I know exactly how much paint. I don't need this big cup. Just thought I'd show you how I do that. Hopefully that made sense. So let's see what we can do here. So I want to try to do one of each. I don't want to do layers. I think that's good. I have my chopstick still in my tip because I lost the tip. It's somewhere around here. <laughs> okay. Close that back up. And so now we know just... That's quite a bit, actually. Yeah, I probably overdid it. That's all good, though. Galver did it on the black and white. Phew. Do you know what I can do? I can dump some of this black into a container. <clears throat> Just some of it. Get some of it out there. It's a little bit safer because I think I put too much in. <laughs> I feel like starting over on that one, but that's all right. felt that little bit of black. I know it, it did get some green in there. Look at those cells too. That's awesome. That could have made a big difference. That's an awful lot of black in there. You know? So we'll see. And 
and I was going to use the 16 by 20 and I'm like, you know, I better test these colors first. Ooh. This is pretty. It's selling up like crazy. We're having a different variety of paints in this. And that is... Oh, I didn't torch it either. Oh, it's all good. Oh, it don't have no bubbles in it. Um. Yeah, I would have had a lot more cells if I would have done that. But that's all right. Yeah, we got our satins. And a regular mat. I like this, though. The more you stretch your paint too slowly, it will create cells. This is awesome. I like the variety of colors. They went well together. That's awesome. Okay, bring it back to the middle. Yeah, just play with it a little bit here. Those cells to pop up a little bit more because that's pretty neat. <laughs> that is really neat. Wipe my hands off here. Ooh, man. So yeah, consistency, obviously, right on, right on target there. So it's totally in view, whoops. Neato. I like it. I think it's really cool. Definitely awesome. Wow. Well, something about mixing satin and regular acrylic and matte together. Whoa, look at it pop up, guys. Nice one. I would have wish I would have done the 16. Maybe I have enough. Well, I have more paint, so. Let's see, was any of these um no, nothing was metallic. This was satin. This one's that multi-premium satin. And this craft, this one that's in here was craft smart satin and oh yeah the white and black is artist loft that's right artist loft flow so it happens when you use a variety <clears throat> pretty neat pretty pretty cool and I know that this is just going to keep going Especially if I just kind of sat here and rocked it back and forth. Stretch those cells even more. Oh, wow. I like that color together. Huh. 
just an explosion of cells. The green was sitting in my bottle for a good maybe two weeks. Now the longer it sits in there, Very cool. Yeah, like that part, my best. And then right in the middle, too. That's neat. It just keeps selling up. Look at that. Remember this stripe right here? It was just a plain color just a little while ago. Let me make sure it's centered again. There we go. There it is. Pretty awesome. <laughs> I think it's just going to keep on selling up, too. Yeah, it is. That is really the bomb. I love it. Very cool. All colors showed up too. Check that out. Every single one. So that's good. Yeah, even pouring out that black may have helped a lot too. Didn't make it look, it wouldn't have been bad having more black in here either. So. Well, not a whole lot of white, but there is some good streaks in there. And I've got those just going through all those cells. <laughs> oh, I love that when that happens. And it's really neat. <laughs> I'm super crazy about this one. It's awesome. All right, guys. That's it for this one. I have some pretty cool projects coming up. I bought, um, oh, I'm afraid to touch it right now. Let me take off my gloves. This here I thought was super cute. And it's one of those little chalkboards, you know, you can, a chalkboard on it. But, it's indented in here, so sort of like a frame, but then it comes with like the little easel thing in the back. I thought maybe that would be a cute something to do. Just pour inside here, and then I have myself a little picture. <laughs> That's going to be neat, so I'm going to pick some of my favorite colors for this. We'll do this. Yeah, that'll be neat too, and that'll be inside here, so I don't have to worry about flowing it off. Just got to make sure I use the amount, not too much paint, so that it wouldn't go over, you know. And then, what else did I get? I got one of these pots. Oh, it's two dollars, something like that, to paint. It's a bigger one, too, so it's not all the little tiny ones I always do. <laughs> That'll be fun. And I've watched some people on YouTube do it where they did individual colors. They didn't mix it all in one cup. I'm going to do it that way. <clears throat> what else did I think of? I bought these at the dollar store. A funnel pour. I'm going to want to do a funnel pour. Where you lay it down on your canvas and fill it up and then lift up your funnel and it's supposed to give it a cool, cool effect. Well, it's not really an effect or a design. It just 
puts a lot of flow air through your paint gives you a lot of cells probably let's see what else <laughs> some crazy stuff guys you think i'm nuts probably but i do this i'll walk in just see what i can do a sponge one of those sea sponges just maybe get some white and spot and dab on different colors, you know, some pretty colors. Like, just take, I'm going to cut it maybe or something, cut it in a small little piece and just dip it in some colors and dab it on the white. And then do another color, dab it on. That's what my plans are for that. <laughs> so, yeah, there's lots of weird stuff you can find. There's even this thing. You're going to laugh at me. One of those massagers. You, you know, you massage it on your back. Take it across the painting. And see what kind of effect that would do. Kind of scared to do that. But I think that might be cool because it will lift up the paint at the same time. And it will give it a design. So who knows. But it's got these little spikes in it. Let me see if it feels good on my shoulder. It actually does. I have so much fat back there. I never feel very much though. But <laughs> yeah, that's good. When I need a massage, I need it really hard. Uh, anyway, yeah. So I've got some fun things to experiment with. <laughs> And laugh at myself afterwards. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. So, you guys, thanks for watching. Go ahead and press that like and subscribe button if you'd like to. That would be awesome. Um, all you subscribers are awesome. Leaving comments. And talking with me. I really appreciate that. I just love that most of all. You know, that that's it. Just talk if you need to. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know where you're from. There's a Muna. Muna, I don't know where you're from. So many people I speak to. Jean, I have no idea. Let me know where you're from. Becky, Teresa. You know, I'd love to hear from you. All right, guys, take it easy. This was fun. This was awesome. Just exploded. <laughs> All right, catch you later. Bye, guys.